All right, LSU 28, Mississippi State 25. Um, LSU, I believe, was up 28 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Mississippi State scored a couple of touchdowns late to make it close, um, but LSU holds on. Um, this was, I believe, one of, um, again, I can't remember which one of us picked this, but this was one of our five games to watch, one or both of us. Um, Last year, of course, this was Mike Leach's debut against LSU, and they just put up massive points on them. We did. We said we didn't expect the same outcome this year, and sure enough, LSU um, pulls this out. Actually, covers the two and a half point spread, just barely. Um, did Did you get to watch much of this? And what were your thoughts? Yeah, bits and pieces. Um, uh, must win game for Coach O. No other way to put it. Must win game. Might not get back on the on the on the team playing if he loses this game, uh, if you get my drift. So I just, I think it was very similar. I think kind of to what we saw teams play Mississippi State. They're going to play uh, just a zone, and we're going to let you complete all these passes underneath. Well, I mean, literally all the passes you want underneath. <laughs> Will Rogers had 47 completions. I mean, he had 370 yards. They, they moved the ball, but it – yeah, they just let him have all the two-yard screen plays that they wanted, and we'll just come up and make a tackle, and that's what they did. Mississippi State, Mississippi State's not a bad team. We enjoy trashing Mississippi State, just disclaimer out there. This pod and Mississippi State fans, we will go back and forth. They're, we're kind of rivals, I think, maybe at this point. But it, Which, by the way, was not at all our intention before the season started. It was just, it's sort of turned into that based on some of the reactions we've gotten. It has. I, we didn't go in looking for a fight. Please do not get this confused. We were just, hey, I, I like Mike Leach. I think it's fun. I, I like what he does there. But, yes, there were some delusional Mississippi State fans who thought that they, they may go undefeated, um, even when they were going up to the Alabama game, I think someone said maybe. So, no, it's, hey, you know what? They, they, beat, they beat NC State, and suddenly that win looks a lot better. So not a terrible year for NC State, or for, for, for Mississippi State, rather. But this is just a huge win for LSU. Uh, you had to have it. And you've got some, some more of these coming up. You're not done with the must-win games if you're Coach O. But this is, a, this is a start because this game was actually not as close as the final score indicated. Some garbage time touchdowns kind of tightened this up at the end. But LSU was in control of this game and was the better team. And, and that's, a, that's an improvement from what you saw even week one against UCLA. Uh, I think you see the defense is, is shoring up a bit. They're, they're, not, they're not great yet, but they're, they're getting better. They're improving. They're not getting run on quite like they were week one. So is this an improving LSU team who wasn't really good to start with, but they are getting better, and there's some hope there. Let's see how the rest of the year plays out for them. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, this, is, this does not diminish my view of Mississippi State at all, but it does, it does maybe improve my view of LSU going forward just because there was a question about do they care? Like are they actually going to be playing to win here? You know, they were out – they were without Derek Stingley today, and they looked like they actually – gave a crap like they came out um played pretty well like not this is not two years ago LSU this team is not competing for an SEC title or anything but do they care enough to get get their young talent some more experience and to keep Coach O around we'll see going forward but it does seem like they actually care um so that's a good sign for LSU 